what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in this video shout out to my boy christian um in this video i'm going to be simply just answering a question um that was asked on my youtube channel down in the comments um and try to just kind of give my two cents and my perspective and, and really just my strategy on how i uh, manage other business pages on facebook or other facebook ad accounts and how i do it all through my end so i don't have to ask anyone for passwords and things of that nature um but it's something very basic and this is very this is something very very important because those of you that are that are looking to either manage and build an agency for example you're a freelancer you're an aspiring agency owner where you actually want to service clients you want to service business owners and run their facebook ads or run their instagram ads this is a very common you know question that i get asked a lot since i've been building something you know since 2016 in that whole entire space is i i i managed hundreds of clients right um and I would have to request access to their business page and or their ad account. And so I'm going to just simply show you how to do it. So if you're into this type of stuff, social media marketing, um, affiliate marketing, making money online, um, I've been doing all that since 2016. So subscribe, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. As you can see here, I answer everyone's question. I'll reply. Or if I feel everyone will get, you know, um, just an overall benefit from it, I'll make a video and drop my two cents. So Again, subscribe if you haven't already, man, if you're into that type of stuff, and let me show you his question so we can get on and, and answer it for my boy Christian here. So he's asking, um, you said you had, and this is based on a video that he watched. So this older, and this is an older video, man, how to, how to, how to add multiple pages to your Facebook ad account. So again, it's for freelancers, um, and, and even if, if you're not a, a freelancer or an agency owner or an aspiring agency owner, whatever the hell you want to call yourself. If you're not servicing clients, this is all for, this is also for all of you who actually will most likely be hiring someone to do all that for you. So if you're not learning Facebook ads and Instagram ads and how to build landing pages and capture leads online, if you're not learning that shit yourself, you're going to eventually have to hire somebody because if you're trying to build a business today, man, and you're trying to get it out of your freaking garage, right? You're trying to get it out of your basement and you're trying to actually get it out to the general public and, and call yourself a legitimate business. You're going to have to learn marketing. You're going to have to learn social media marketing. You're going to have to learn Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, YouTube advertising, you know, so, so either you're going to have to learn it or you'll, you'll eventually have to hire somebody to do it for you. Um, because marketing is the most important thing in business. I don't care what it is, man. People and relationships are, are everything, but also marketing, man. Marketing will, 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 will make or break a business. I truly believe that. I've always believed that it's all in your marketing. If there's no customers coming in, we don't got a damn business, right? So, it all starts with marketing. So those of you who are not freelancers or agency owners, you can benefit from this too, because you need to know, know this stuff. If an agency or if a freelancer, or if you end up hiring somebody to do this stuff for you, you need, you need a business account. You need a business manager, not just your ads manager. So this is kind of where it all starts before I go on to his question. Um, but you want to go here. So head, head over here, business.facebook.com forward slash create. And right here, You'll, you'll, you'll either be logged and, and make sure you're logged into your Facebook, right? Make sure you're logged into your Facebook account and then come over here. So, so it can either automatically take you to your business manager if it's already set up, or you'll simply come to this page and you'll see this button and you'll just simply create an account. This is a business manager. This is for those of you like Christian who are going to be requesting access to other business pages or other ad accounts and or this is for businesses who are, who will eventually be hiring somebody to do all that for them. You need a business manager because that agency or that freelancer, whoever you're hiring, they're going to need access to your business manager. They're going to need access to your business page. They're going to need access to your ad account. And you want to set up a business manager to make all that happen. Okay, so it all starts here. Make sure that you, you have your business manager set up. Um, go through the process, enter your information, put everything you possibly can, um, give Facebook as much information as, as possible, the address, phone number, email, confirm your email, um, and all that good stuff. That happens when you, when you smash this button right here, create account. Okay, so over here, he's asking, you said you have multiple client pages on one ads account. Okay, so let me start off there. Let me start off there. I'm going to be breaking this down for you, Christian. Um, and hopefully all you guys get value out of this as well. 
this is how I do it when I'm only running one ad. So if you've been catching any of my of my previous videos on how I'm building my social media agency and getting clients and how I've gotten hundreds of clients all through the direct message alone, if you've caught any of my past videos since 2016, I've been talking about how I start off a client small. Like I don't go for, for the home run on the very first call, on the very first meeting, on, on, on that first presentation. I'm not swinging for the fences and asking for a thousand a month, 1500 a month, 2,500 a month. I'm not doing that um, on the first, on the first time around, right? The first call, first meeting, first close, give me the credit card. It's not for a big purchase at all. Um, how I've been able to get hundreds of clients all through the direct message is by starting them off small, obviously knowing what the need is, seeing what the desire is, what, what the goal is, and, and really seeing how I can fill the, fill the void um, for that client. You have to know that first and foremost, right? So whoever you're going after, you know, you have to know the pain point of that client. You have to know your avatar. You have to know your ideal client. That's how you're going to be able to re relate to them. That's how you're going to be able to touch on, on any, any, any freaking, um, 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 pain points. And, and, and you're going to really be able to see what their goals are to really, to really even know if you can service them or not. Right. So it all starts there, but once you get to get them to the point where you're onboarding them, I started hundreds small. So in this, on a small package. So in this particular case, with this first simple part of the question here, I have, I have multiple pages on one ad account, which is my ad account. Because out of that one ad account, I simply ran one ad. So one ad for that client, and I got hundreds of them all in that one ad account. I've, um, I've, I've, I've ran one single type of ad for that client, and that's it. So, so addressing that, yes, I have multiple client pages on one ad account. That's how I start them. That's when I onboard them. I run one simple like ad to take their 200 likes on their Facebook business page to 2200, right? One simple ad that I'll run for them. Um, and, and I simply, all I do in that case is I'll come over here to my business settings. So once you set up your business, ma your, your business manager, then you'll have the ability to come over here to the business settings. And all you'll do is find these dots, click on business settings, and that'll bring you right over here. Okay, so so what I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, right, um, is I would request access to their business page from my account. From my end, this is one ad account. Um, I'd simply come over here, pages. I would click on add. I would click on request access to a page. And then... Um, um, Actually, you know what? This is a brand new business manager, a whole new project that I'm working on. So I don't even want to fill this in right now. But all you would do, in fact, let me just show you. Let me show you a different account. Let me show you a different account. Give me one second. Okay, so here's what I would do, right? Here's what I would do. When I'm only going to be running one ad for that client, just to just to break bread, just to get the game going, right? The game started and, and, and it, to actually take a credit card, right? To onboard that client, I'll come over here in my ad account, my business manager, I'd go to pages, I'd run everything out of this one account, for example, right? Um, I'd go to pages, I'll hit the blue one, and then I'll request access to a page. And this is what I do. So I come over here, I'll come to their actual um, um, Facebook business page, and you only want, you don't need all the random characters up here in the URL, you just need the actual name like facebook.com forward slash inspired digital that's the only part i need right i don't need all them long characters if there is anything at the at, to the right of it i just need the, the real actual username the real you know url i copy that i bring it over here i paste it in i request access then i tell that client go to your business page and, and i'm doing this on screen share i'm doing this on zoom i'm, I'm now saying okay share your screen let me walk you through how to accept my request, how to, how to, how to, yeah, how to accept it, right? So I'll have them come over here to their business page, right? Let's exit as viewer and let's go to the actual real business settings. Here's, here's what they would see. I had them go to their business page. They click on settings over here. They click on page roles and right here towards the middle, <clears throat> in the middle, they'll see respond to request. Right, they'll see, they'll see they'll see my business name, and then they'll see they'll see respond to request. They click on that, they accept it, they put their password. Then I come over here, I refresh the page, and then now it says <clears throat> now now it'll say something up here like 
<clears throat> permission given, I think it says permission given. And then what I got to do, once I see permission given up here, then I come over here, add people like this. I'll click on add people and then boom, I'll see my name right here. I'll click on my name and then I'll come down here, manage page, assign. That's all I do. Now I have that person's now I have access to their business page, right? Now I can go into the ads manager, run an ad, click the green button, run an ad from my one ad account, right? But from their business page, that's how I would do it in the very, very, you know, in the very beginning. Now it says, how safe is that? Because some people do say it's not okay because Facebook is likely to ban such account and page that instead you should have multiple ad accounts for different pages. Very good, very good point, very good question, very good concern. Yes, that's exactly how you want to do it. So again, I did it with hundreds of clients all since 2016 alone, one ad account requesting access to their business page to run one single ad. That was it. Now, my whole, my whole um, value ladder and the way I would upsell clients is I would do that first. And then I would have a, then I, then I would put, I would have a system in place where I have emails going out and I do all everything through Kartra. So I am automating all my emails all through Kartra. So if you're into this type of stuff, landing pages, email automation, online calendars, maybe even building a membership course and selling your knowledge, there's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Set up a 14 day trial. We'll schedule a strategy call and I'll freaking help you get that thing off to a fast start. But that's the software that I use for my follow-up emails. I set it all in, 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 in a sequence, all automated. I have you know five emails ready to go out over the next few weeks after I onboard the client, after I run one single ad. And those future emails are, are designed to, to bring more value to that client. I just, you know, I just took their credit card a couple of days ago. Now I'm running this one single ad for them. Now I'm just building the relationship, building the rapport, getting them to like me, getting them to trust me, getting them to want to do future business with me. So my emails are designed to really bring more value and I do a lot of it in video too, man. If you're catching any of my email uh, sequence or email marketing videos on YouTube here, a lot of my videos that I'll send out are video. So I'll, I'll send out a text base and then I'll say, watch here. Click here, John, to watch my latest video, right? There'll be an email, but when they click, they're going to a Kartra page where it's me on video explaining what the hell the email was, right? So putting yourself out on video gives you an even better chance to win that person over. So in my case, what I would do is I would have a handful of emails that go out uh, uh, building the rapport, bringing more value, but getting them to schedule the next call. It was all about scheduling the next call. When they schedule that next call, now it's time. Now it's time to go on to the next step. The next step is when we start running Facebook ads consistently to capture leads, right? Or to get, or to get them appointments, or to freaking get them sales, whatever the hell you know, whoever the hell you're you're servicing, you know, it's it's one of those. You're either going to capture leads for people, you're going to get them, you know, appointments, or you're going to get them freaking sales online, like you know, shit, whatever, whatever it may be. It's the same damn thing. So my emails were designed to get them back on the line, to get them back on Zoom, to to get them to schedule the next call, so I can then upsell them in a very ethical way, right? I would upsell them my higher package. And that higher package is running Facebook ads for them. Now, where I'm at today in my career is I'm actually teaching them how to do it themselves. Where I'm at in my career today is actually putting it all in video form and selling it to them. So that's a digital course. That's a membership course. And again, I do all that through Kartra. I use one software for all this stuff, dude. Profitwithkartra.online. There's a 14-day trial in the description. So, so I would get them to schedule a call via email automation, right? They click on an email, they watch a video. In that video, I'm saying, hey, and by the way, I'd love to talk to you. Let's get back on the line. I'd love to show you the next step. They click the button, they go straight to my calendar, they schedule a call. That next call is a money call because at this point, we're three weeks, three weeks down the line. At this point, they used to have 110 likes. Now they got 3,700. At this point, none of their social media links were optimized. Now everything looks good. Their page, their personal profile, their business page, everything looks freaking top notch because of yours truly, right? So now at this point, three weeks, three weeks later, they're fired up. They're like, holy shit, David, you turned my pages around. 
my pages didn't look nothing like this. People thought I was a secret agent. Now they know I'm a freaking professional, right? So, so at that point, they're fired up. They're, 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 they're willing to take my next call and they're even willing to give me more money, right? That was just my model. And still to this day, that's still my model. And so when we get to that point, Christian, and everybody who's paying attention here, when we get to that point, then I start running ads from their ad account. Okay, then I'll come over here to the business manager, right? My same business manager, but then I'll go down here to ad accounts, right? I would come down here to ad accounts. I would hit ad right here, request access to an ad account. And then I would follow, I do this bottom one, follow these steps to request access to an ad account. Contact the owner of the ad account, ask them to go to the ad account tab in their business manager and click assign partner. To give you access, they'll need to enter the number below and choose a role. So what I'll do, and a lot of times, you guys, I'll do this part for them. Like, I'll ask for their password. I'll log into their account. I'll do this part. I'll freaking, you know, uh, grant the access, and then I'll tell them to change their password. But then a lot of times at that point, again, man, they're already loving me because of what I did to their, to their accounts three weeks ago and how I turned everything around. They're already freaking loving me, so they trust me right? They trust me with their damn password. They trust me and, and they should, right? Um, so this is what I do. So I'll end up requesting access to their ad account. Now I'm no longer just managing their business page. I'm now running ads from their ad account, but from my end, right? So I don't need passwords. I don't need to log into their business manager. I don't need to log into their personal Facebook page at all. Like I simply just re request access to their ad account to run ads number two and on. Okay. So that way, yes, that way Facebook doesn't flag you, you know, or, or ban you for any, anything, you know, that that's out of the ordinary. I don't really know because I'm about managing client clients, different pages. And also I have multiple pages for myself. I would appreciate if you can explain more to avoid future ban from Facebook. Um, and so that, that's what it is, man. That's what it is. So, so again, depending on your business model, depending on your products and services that you're offering the marketplace, me personally, I would just start off clients small. And again, I would run one single ad from my account and, 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 and I, I knock on wood, I haven't had any problems and I've been doing that since 2016, you know, successfully. So, um, but today, if I'm going to be running ads for clients, like which I don't do anymore, actually, I, I don't even do that no more. I teach people to do it themselves. But if I were doing that, then again, I would just simply request access to the ad account. And in that way, you know, it's separate. That's their ad account. Their credit card is tied to that ad account. Um, and, and their pixel is tied to that ad account. And their business page is tied to that ad account. So all you're doing is managing it from your end, running ads from your end, from your ad, from your business manager, right? You're running ads from your end and, and, and everyone's happy. So as long as you're not doing shady ass freaking ads, man, as long as you're not doing stupid ads, like freaking, you know, freaking weight claims or health claims or, or nutritional claims or or get rich quick scheme claims as long as, as long as you're not doing stuff like that alcohol sex freaking you know freaking um um bullshit like that like if, as long as you're not doing stuff like that on Facebook with your ads and 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 your targeting like dude you're not going to get banned like that's what I'm saying once you set up the business manager you want to put as much information as possible you want to make sure that you verify the email once you set up this account this business manager you're going to have to verify your email verify the damn email look for it in spam look for it in your freaking social folder or your freaking junk folder or whatever make sure you get that email from Facebook because that's the most important is verifying that putting a legitimate credit card on file, right? Making sure you put a credit card on file. Um, and then, and then also freaking, um, 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 just making sure you're on the up and up another super important thing, man, to, to make sure that you're not getting banned and, and your stuff getting shut down is making sure that your payments are always going through, making sure that your payments are always going through on that credit card. So when you go and build, when, when Facebook goes and bills you, whether it's you or whether it's your, well, when you're running, Again, ad number two and on, you're running those ads from their ad account. But the same thing applies, man. Their credit card, your credit card, your ads, your side, whatever. The biggest, biggest thing is to make sure that that credit card always goes through, right? When credit, when Facebook goes and, and, and credits that freaking or debits that freaking 
that that cost when your billing date comes up either you hit your threshold or your billing date comes around and and facebook goes and charges that credit card always make sure it goes through okay because when it doesn't go through it's a red flag when it doesn't go through your threshold freaking decreases meaning that facebook wants to charge your card more often to make sure that it's legit so your threshold freaking goes way way down and then and then again you're yeah at that point your can your account can be you know banned and closed down for for whatever reason that's the thing off facebook do they're freaking gangsters do they're freaking gangsters at this point they can kind of do what they want because yeah that's just the way it is man um so 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 hopefully that makes sense right there um you can for sure manage you know different different ad accounts that's what you'll be doing you'll be managing different ad accounts and this is for this is for again if you're running them consistently, like if you're really bringing on a monthly client, don't do it for just a client that just wants you to run one ad. You can easily do it out of your, out of your ad account. You don't need to request access to their ad account if you're only running one ad. Like I don't need your credit card information. I don't need the pixel. I don't need none of that shit if I'm only running one ad for you, whether it's a video ad, whether it's a like ad to get the likes up. That's one ad, right? But when we start running leads, when we start running ads to capture leads, that's different. That's when you have to be running ads consistently. That's when I'll need access to your ad account. Okay. So that's how you want to kind of do that. Christian is, um, is only request access to the ad accounts of clients that you're going to be really working with, um, consistently. Okay. So I would appreciate you explain more to avoid future ban. Okay. I, okay. To have different pages with different ads, ad accounts. And if so, how can one create different pages having different ad accounts? Well, here's the deal. With one ad account, you can have as many pages as you want. What I highly recommend is making sure that those pages are 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 in the same niche, okay? In the same niche, okay? That's super, super important. Um, now, with a business manager, with the, the, the good thing about this business manager is that you can set up five different ad accounts. Now, you got to set up one ad account, put a credit card, run some ads, I would always rec recommend the like ad or a video view ad first. Let Facebook charge that credit card a few times, run it, run, run some ads for a couple of weeks. And then Facebook will allow you to open up more accounts. Um, you may, when you open up your business account, your business manager account, you may only have one ad account. But again, as you make more payments, as you run more ads on that one ad account, this business manager will have five. Okay. So, when you have five ad accounts, then each ad account, now with Facebook's new update, Apple iOS 14, you now have to have to connect a domain, your own custom domain to each ad account. So what I would highly suggest is you can have, you can have a business manager, you can have five different ad accounts, but I guess my biggest, biggest thing is my biggest recommendation is to have them all in the same niche, right? They could be all different clients, but make sure they're all in a different niche, in a different, in, in the same niche, excuse me, all in the same niche. If you're an affiliate marketer, you have a business manager, you have five different ad accounts. Each ad account is for a different offer that you're promoting on ClickBank, for example, but all five are in the same niche. And each ad account, again, as I just mentioned, each ad account has its own domain name. Okay. Each ad account has its own domain name and each ad account has its own credit card. Okay. That's another super, super important thing. Don't put the same credit card for every ad account. Have you have one business manager, you have five ad accounts, make sure there's five different credit cards. Okay. That's what I, I highly recommend. That's what my mentor has, has taught me um, to have different ad accounts and to have different credit cards to each one, to have a different domain, Verify that domain with GoDaddy or excuse, well, yeah, if you're getting it through GoDaddy, you'll verify it um, through GoDaddy and Facebook, which you'll come down here to brand safety. You'll hit domains and you'll simply add a domain right here. Okay. You'll add and just put the URL. It doesn't need HTTPS or, or www right here. Example.com. Just put that add domain. Once you add domain, you're going to refresh the page, right? You're going to refresh the page and then it'll give you some instructions on um, how to log into GoDaddy and how to add a text record. You need to do that for any ad account from this point forward. So we're depending on when you're watching this, we're in February of 2021. That's the newest update with, with Facebook and with Apple iOS. Um, you, need a, you, need, you need to verify a domain. Okay, so from whatever ad account you're running ads from, it needs to be tied to a domain that you 
customized and that you own, right? So that that right there, man, is, is kind of how you want to do it. And as long as you have all that in place, man, all the business info um, in, 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 your, in your account, um, different ad accounts, but all in the same niche, different ad accounts, um, all different credit cards, um, and then managing clients' ad accounts, not just their business page in your ad account, but actually managing their ad accounts from your end. That's how you want to be on the up and up with, with everything. So I hope you guys got value from that, man. I know I need some freaking water um, over here, but Christian, hopefully that made sense, bro. And, and if it does, man, drop me a comment, man. Let me know it made sense. If I missed anything, let me know. And again, if you're new to the channel, man, subscribe. My name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency and an affiliate marketing business. So I'm super fired up about making money online, capturing leads online, email automation. I'm super fired up about all that, man. So if you're here and, and, and you're new, subscribe. I have a ton of knowledge. I have a ton of content coming your way. Um, so don't miss a video. All right, guys. So I'll see you on the next one. Christian, hit me up, bro. Let me know if that made sense. And I'll see you in the comment section over and out.